if done correctly, strip peacock hurl can make beautiful segmented bodies. All it takes is a few simple household items to strip your own peacock hurl. Okay, I thought I'd show you how to strip peacock quills. What we need is some household bleach. This is just regular bleach, this is 2.4%. A clear large glass. A measuring jug. Natron or baking soda. Paper towels. Rubber gloves. What we need to do first is put our rubber gloves on. Now, I like to do these best. You see that these are peacock eyes, that top eyes that I've used most of the hurl on. But the, the eyes are still in good condition. It's these that you need here for the quills. These are the strongest. So, and I like to leave them with a long stem on so I get to dip it in the glass and then you have full control over them. That's got a bit of hurl left, I'll just strip those off. So, take our bleach and what we want then is to measure 300 millilitres. There we go. Put that in there. And then we need hot water. So let that run a while. And we need 900 millilitres so put that there then we take our move this over here take our quills pick a couple of nice ones out it's a good one and a good one there so take the two quilts and we put these in the jar. So the good thing about this, with the long stem still left on, is that you can control it and you can also keep them moving all the time. Take a look and you'll see with the clear glass that the water starts changing colour. It will become like a tea colour. Keep your eye on the time as well, that's important. They only need, uh, depending on how strong your bleach is, your mixture is, they only need a couple of minutes. Okay, just keep them going like this. Keep them on the move so the bleach penetrates all the hurl. Those are looking good now. A little bit like that. Okay, then we empty out the bleach. Give that a rinse. Fill it with hot water again. Then we need our natron or baking soda in there. This will neutralise and stop the burning effect. Give them a good wash. We need some paper. Take a bit of kitchen roll. Put that down. And of course you can do more if you wish. I just thought I'd illustrate the technique here just with these two. So we'll just put those on there. Give them a dry. They dry relatively quickly. And there we are. That's the finish stripped quill. I'll give you a close up of that very shortly. Good, excellent. see the difference there what's happened just then that's just just two minutes 
in the uh, in the bleach solution. So it's it's a lot quicker doing it with chemicals like this than stripping them individually. Uh, what you have to take care of, of course, is that you have to check every now and then within the two minutes that they're not burning totally off. So it's best to do a test first before you do a, a whole bunch and then you can actually take five or six and do them all at once. So it's a, it's a good quick technique if you want to do your own quills. I'll show you how to colour them. Yeah, so you take your quill and you just use a spirit based waterproof marker do both sides and then once you've tied with it give it a coat with UV resin so another trick here is you'll see a lot of books recommend that you use an eraser if you want to strip individual quills they, uh, they recommend that you use an eraser pencil eraser uh, but if you use fly time wax I find it much easier so you just put this down and once you've done one side of course you have to turn it over and do the other but it removes everything. It's an excellent, uh, and of course it's waxed as well. So it's a nice little trick. And there it is, the finished strip quill. You can see the difference with the full to eye top. And if you look on the back, you can see the useful area here. Same on the back of the quill there. Um, and only takes a couple of minutes and you get a whole load of material. So, uh, Give it a go. Thanks for watching.